Good morning, good morning, good morning. You may be hung over from a candy coma. Last night was Halloween. You might be waking up earlier than normal, noticing that your clocks are incorrect. Your cell phone's telling you something different than your, you know, coffee maker. At least that's for me. Welcome. I recently saw that a lot more Black Friday ads were out. Costco here being one of them. I'm excited to check that out. And rather than just doing it, I thought we could all enjoy a cup of coffee together in the morning and check out these ads. We have now, if you missed it, I, you know, Amazon just had their Prime Day. It was delayed this year to a later time, closer to Black Friday. We looked at the Best Buy ad in a, in a live stream I did a couple days ago, two, three, four, like within a week. And now we have, um, I'm going off this link here, I posted it in the description, which is we got Macy's, Amazon, Kohl's, Best Buy, Target, Costco. The Amazon one's a little misleading because it's their uh, holiday catalog. Um, I actually have it somewhere in my house. They sent it to me, but I don't really want to check that out very much, so I'm actually gonna skip that one. Um, but Amazon's going to be price matching all these prices and things like that, not all of them. Um, for those of you you know that are new here, um, I've mentioned this in other videos that a lot of times the way these companies are able to compete on price, like when you think about it, like Best Buy, Walmart, and Amazon, is they ask like Sony, they ask these different manufacturers to make a product and they change the model number by just a little bit. So it seems like you're getting a different item and they might even change some physical attributes as well. For example, on a TV, they'll take out a few HDMI ports and rebrand it. It's the same panel, but the inputs and outputs are different. So um, it's really hard sometimes to, to like when you're looking at all these ads to see like what is a good deal and what's not. Um, so keep that in mind. And that's what we're gonna look at today, um, see if we see some stuff. So food to get started in Costco. Now Costco, on the link I sent, they give you like a scan of the ad. I also have the ad right here. I actually have the ad because I am a Costco member. By the way, these Kodak cakes are amazing. It's like a instant pancake mix that you just add water to and you'd think like, oh, just water, you don't add eggs or anything else, but they're amazing. And they're like protein packed, so they're like somewhat healthy. Anyways, we'll get to that. So I'm actually gonna be using the website instead of the magazine because it's full screen. And if you go back a screen here, you go to the Costco website, um, they have it set up just like the, um, I don't know if you see the catalog here, but they have like the online deals, online and warehouse, online, online and warehouse savings. So they have the same categories, um, except they're missing this tab, online savings. Okay, um, so we're gonna preview all of this. Um, let's start with this one. And then we'll get into Target. I'm a second excited, most, most excited about Target. Then we got Macy's, we got Kohl's. We already talked about Best Buy, but we can revisit it if everyone like. So good morning, everyone, welcome. And here we go. Let me fix the mic as well. All right. So here we go, Costco food items. I get these, by the way, they're amazing. They're very sweet though. Probably same with these, I haven't tried these, but uh, canola oil's on sale, great. All right, the Rabbit Electric Wine Set. I never understood this. Like, just go buy a $1 wine opener. The crock pot, okay. Some decorations, uh, Hotel Grand White Down Comforter. Okay, if you guys need that, cool. Clothing, this is pretty cool. It's interesting to me that some things have prices on them. That's a good set for three batteries at 500 lumens. Some workout equipment, okay, first TV deal. 55 inch, 7300 series, 4K, UHD, LED, 120 refresh rate. Pretty good, quad core processor 4K, so it has some upscaling, things like that. Or you can get what the next size up it looks like for only 120 more. Wow, you get the 86 inch for almost 1500. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I bought my TV from Costco. The reason being is Costco will give you an additional one year warranty on top of your TV, just on the house. Um, this one has a bundle. Oh wow, they're bundling in protection plans too. So you might wanna look into that. But when I bought mine, I bought, I got the one year warranty from Vizio. I bought a Vizio. 
and I got the one year from Costco, and then I added on, I believe either three years or two years, because everyone kept telling me that Vizio is, is junk, like they, they break, they're not good, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get the Vizio, and I'll just get a warranty, and you know, I'll have to warranty it when I, when I can. So Samsung 8 series, so you wanna look for this number right here. The 8 is one of their top of the line series. The 6 series and the 7 series are the one below, so that's really good. 240 refresh rate on those Sonys, on the QLEDs. Pretty nice. Uh, but again, you know, it's like a couple hundred dollars off normal price, it's not anything crazy. So this is, and these deals, let's just double check, these are happening right now before Thanksgiving, okay? Well, right now, not right now, but in a couple weeks. In a week, next week, towards the end of next week. These are those pancakes I was telling you about. Check them out, it's worth it. Oh, and if you have a, but Joe, you have to be like a, um, you have to be like a, uh, you have to have like the highest membership, right, to get the cash back. But again, check with your credit card too. Some, now that they do Visa, some Visa programs, two terabyte drive for 60, that's good. I mean, it's a newer model. That's the thing. A lot of these deals you're seeing for hard drives are older models. This is a newer model of Seagate hard drive. $50 off a touchscreen, i5. That's fine. A lot of people were getting on me for 8 gigs of RAM. So there you go. Go for a 12 gig of RAM for $50 more. But this doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. But it's a newer. Uh, okay, that's it, I guess, for those. Pre-sale holiday. Now let's do Black Friday. All right, lots of chocolate, butter, pecan, meltaways. Mmm, that sounds good. Butter, cream cheese, crackers. I guess we gotta skip all the food. All right, the Ninja Foodie Food Pressure. Okay, you're into that. The flossing machine, cuisine art, uh, food processor. Looks like the Ninja Food Processor. Okay, TVs. An 8K TV. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 8K. If you ever wanted to future-proof your TV, 8K. Um, I, you know, real 8K resolution. Whew. I mean, that's actually a pretty good deal, all things considered. But personally, if I was buying a TV right now, I'd just I'd get a deal on a way larger. I'd go 75 or 85 in that range with something different. Like, like we showed saw you earlier, I would go with like the eight, the Q8 series. The frame series, so these have like um, frames around the TV. Interesting. So it looks like a picture frame on your wall, huh? I have never even heard of those before. That's interesting. I wouldn't be into that, but maybe some of you are. This is a pretty sweet deal on the monitor here. This isn't really a gaming monitor, although it is, you know, pretty, that's decent response rate. You get one millisecond. The AMD FreeSync is now working with a lot of G-Sync, and that's a really nice resolution. The refresh rate, though, is where I'm not, like, I'm not loving it. This is really a multitasking monitor. There's a really cheap 4K deal. More TVs, wow. This one has a three-year warranty. Q8DT. Okay. Yeah, see, I would rather have an extra 10 inches than an 8 series than having just a 65 with the 8K. I would just rather, I'd really rather have this myself. But again, it depends how long you own your TV. 8K will eventually be a thing, but it's just not really. You could do it on your, like, don't get me wrong, like the NVIDIA graphics cards can do it. You know, you can get things to go, but do you really need it yet? So LG, LED, if you're gonna go LG, I might recommend OLED. They have really good OLED. So the Sony has a five-year warranty. Yeah, see, I'd rather go for something like this. I'd wanna see this TV, but like, I'm gonna get 85 inches for under 2K. And they have a, the X1 chip is really good. So here you go, I would go with this LG. Look at that, you get 100 refresh rate, a little slower, but it is HDR10 compliant and they have free sync. Really good deals on phones, but a lot of these phones I think you have to get into a, um, a contract with, so I know that deal won't uh, do deal well. Soundbar, if you're interested. Lenovo Flex, this is the same similar deal that 
Oh, no, they were doing the yoga is what Best Buy was doing. Doorbells. Do you realize with the ring doorbells, like you have to pay an annual subscription? I pay $30 a year, but I only have the doorbell. The minute you add like security cameras too, it's like the plan turns to like, instead of $3 a month, it turns to like $10 a month. So keep that in mind. There are some options out there where you can store it on your own cloud storage. These pro these are really good if you guys do, um, if you guys have uh, jobs, you know, like for work applications, but emulation, gaming, no, don't do it. So this is the same deal with the i7 processor. So same hard drive, same 12 gigs of RAM, same 12, 15 inch touchscreen, but to go for an i7, um, that's pretty, I'd go for i7 over it. But again, you're not getting gr dedicated graphics. So I have the Netgear Orbeez, the older version. I love them, they're amazing. Uh, but you can get any of them, you know, the, L, the what are the arrows, they're all good. Noise canceling headphones, 700. I'm always curious how much these are on uh, Bose 700 Amazon. Three eighty versus what do we see? Three forty. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Like forty dollars off. Have you been eyeing that? Like Bose, Bose is good. I think my brother needs to buy this right here. The Quick Jack. He works on his car. You should get that. Michelin tires are pretty pricey tires. Myself, watch my tire video if you ever want a good deal on tires. Work lights, beds, shark. Poopery, of course, it makes a great gift. I hear they actually work. Um, and then folding tables. All right, so that's it for Black Friday. Well, I guess, well, let's look at a calendar here. Yeah, Black Friday is the 27th. So that's in the time. And then this, oh, this is online only looks like Maytag dishwasher digital picture frame who actually uses digital picture frames like I remember when they came out and like it was so novel and we all had digital cameras but now that you have your phone I guess you just like oh check out the pictures of my phone and you just I feel like a lot of that is unnecessary now all right a 38 inch ultra ride curve they're not even giving you the model number on this yet that is gonna be an epic monitor at 1300 bucks but me, I would never do that in a minute. I understand it's it's gonna have the free sync, super high refresh rates, like probably 2,400 refresh rates, some high. But I mean, at that point, at $1,300, go buy a 65 inch TCL or something, you know. Anyways, that's just me. So some food deals, there's your Dyson deal if you don't want. Um, this is actually a really good deal. These Clipsies, um, or Clips, however you wanna say it. Um, this is like really good. I have the Logitech versions of it. However, I feel like this is slightly, this is, it's usually like on sale for a hundred bucks. So it's an extra $10 off what you normally get. But these are great 2.1 speakers. Here you go. Now this is a sick deal. This is a good deal. The MSI Optics 27, it's only 1080p, but it's high refresh rate, super fast response time. For those of you who wanna play like FPS, gaming, you know, look no further. Um, let's see how much this is on uh, Amazon. Again, I think it's gonna be on Amazon, it's gonna be like uh, uh, $200, I bet. $240 for something similar. I don't know if this is the exact one, but uh, it has all the same specs. 27 FHD. It's probably gonna have the same one millisecond. Yeah, so it's it's similar. So it's pretty good, 240 normally, and they're doing it down to 170. That ain't bad. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, this is a really good deal. I actually reviewed a bunch of laptops with the same configuration or with a ninth gen on my channel. Um, however, me personally, if, I, I would, if I'm gonna spend $1,200, I might wait for the new graphics cards, for the for the 3070s to come out. You know, if it was me, I would just wait. 
Gaming Bundle. I've never heard of these brands before. Black Shark, Viper, and Ornada. Okay. Okay, so some decent deals. Security cameras, you know they're going to be heavy on that. Jabra Elite Active True AirPods. How much are these normally? And then another Sony's, $50 off. The Switch Bundle. So you get a Switch, a case, and a controller for 300 And what the Best Buy deal was 300 What was the Best Buy deal? I guess I just go to the Best Buy website and search it. See what they're saying. Uh, video games. Oh, it's like eight ninety nine for a switch. Wouldn't it be on like the home page? But it was like uh one two ninety nine, right? And they're giving me a bad deal. Yeah, is that that's just it, right? It's just for two ninety nine for just the console. Oh, and then they give you like thirty six months of uh, of like Nintendo Direct, right? So this one instead, you know, it doesn't say anything about Nintendo Direct. But you get a case, a screen protector, a case for your games, and a a, a licensed uh, Pro controller. Those Pro controllers aren't cheap either, so. It's still not an exciting deal to me, but I don't know. Have you been waiting for a Switch? I want to see how much these usually are. Oh, they're 150 on Amazon. So, same price. But if you get black, I don't know if they're out of... Mint? Navy? Titanium black, they're sold out. Oh, look, they're even cheaper! Yeah, look, they're 140 right now compared to 75T True. 75T True Wireless. Yeah, same ones. Okay. Nintendo Switch Sandisk SD cards. Oh my god. Okay. So I love Vizio. The Quantum series is pretty cool. That's a sick TV for what you get. Um, the Chrome, the built-in um, Chromecast sucks though. So appliance deals, massage chair deal. Who's buying this? That's what I want to know. Who's buying that? Um, I bought an OLED four years and I can't own anything else now. Yeah, the colors on an OLED are amazing. I'm waiting for a 380 or, or 390 exactly. Digital picture frame equal old folks. Yeah. But for your grandparents. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, Best Buy already published it. You can go to their website and it's on their homepage. Um, but also I posted a link to the ad itself if you want to like actually like, you can actually see the ad here and switch through like the ad. Um, yeah, so I have it there. Pressure washer for one fee. How much is the Greenworks 2000 normally? 14 karat gold, gold pendant. I have a Nest, I like it. Neuro Bullet, I haven't tried it out. All right, I think that's it for Costco, right? We saw all the deals. We did all three categories. All right, so Costco, we knocked it out. Uh, we got Target next. How do I get rid of uh, open link and new window? Does that make it any bigger? Okay, cool. Let's see this week's Black Friday deals. Okay, cool. We got it open. We'll check that out. Um, I'm just going to scroll while I read the comments. We're going to have riots by then. So I agree. I think next week we're going to have riots. Like, I agree. I mean, it depends where you live. But uh, no matter which president in the U.S. wins, um, there's going to be riots. I mean, uh, 
for sure in like main main cities it's whether or not those riots will spill into you know different areas so i do like to see bows you know and like samsung galaxy i do like to see these name brands on sale because you can get cheap chinese unbranded stuff i say chinese usually chinese it can be made anywhere from all over the place what's up rc thanks for the five dollars i can buy a new phone case um i say i'm actually very appreciative i'm just saying that you know if i just posted a phone case video um samsung galaxy s6 like so many tablets so little time you know if you go with a samsung you are going to get like you know better software more updates things like that better screen but you can get the amazon you know you're going to be able to get the amazon hd 10 for so cheap so wow 43 inch four series 170 bucks I mean, it's not a great TV, but it's a fine TV. All right. Amazon Fire tablet. Amazon Echo. I haven't seen these Echoes. Wow, they're really improving a lot. I have the older model. The A71 5G. I don't even know what model that is, but it seems pricey. It must have really nice specs. They still got the notch up there. And then you have a 70 inch TU7000 for $599. What did we see at Costco? We saw um, something very similar. They're almost identical. So let me, so that was deals that are happening now. So let's go back to the main thing. This week's, let's try all month long. Okay, this is the same daily deals so I guess we got to look through the catalog there weekly ad okay so I guess we got to go to the um, let's just look what we got here okay we got that next all right I'm just gonna skip to you guys probably don't care about clothes so we're gonna keep going some appliances cuisine art Ninja products. KitchenAid Mixer 5 Quart, $229. Oh, I'm on Macy's, huh? I wanted to target. Um, that's actually not very good because Best Buy is doing it for a hundred for uh $199. So for $200. That green thing is normally $200. Uh and it's oh, $150 at uh at Costco. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Alright, so a ton of Amazon products for Target. Thanks for the ad, bro. Is that it? Three pages? Oh, November 1 to November 8. Let's go to the start. Oh, that's it they have. That's all they have so far. Okay, so that's Target. That was easy. Now we're back at Macy's. There was a deal for a pre-lit tree at um, Costco too. Do you guys use fake trees, real trees? What do you guys do? Are you guys more, you know, go down, cut the tree type of people? Are you guys no tree people? We have a fake one. We bought it last year. We bought it from Michael's. And it looks really real. Like, it really does. I was very impressed when I, you know, we wanted this. Because a lot of fake trees look fake, right? So, Sharper Image. Wow, I didn't realize Sharper Image still made stuff. Uh, massage 50% off handheld uh, these are like those hammers that you know you put on your joints and your back FAO Schwartz I thought they went bankrupt I guess somebody rebought them and they're still selling their stuff lol surprise my arcade retro arcades $20 that could be interesting I haven't checked those out I'll have to see usually the little mini systems like that are pretty garbage but they can make like cool ornaments clothing on sale clothing on sale clothing on sale uh, super buy Fitbit sense or charge for have you guys seen these new Fitbit my um, uh, you know somebody in my family has it looks they literally copied the iPhone more clothes more clothes jeez some under 
clothes, some shoes, jewelry, 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 and watches, jewelry, and iTouch, and Fitbit, Versa, wow, Fitbit got on the ad twice, makeup, I don't think we've hit electronics yet, we hit, they, they definitely put Amazon up front. I wonder if Amazon like paid for that or gave them a good deal in order to put their stuff up front. Couches. My parents need a new couch. Damn, that's expensive. That better be some good leather. That's it. That's the end of the ad. Okay. So, oh, Macy's doesn't really do a lot of electronics, I guess. They used to. All right, Kohl's. I think a lot more, nothing that good either. Nerf or nothing. Shark, Amazon Fire, Kids Edition, $59.99. I mean, I feel like you're, that's it? Oh, it's a preview, okay. And then the best buy ad, let's go through one more time since we're here, and then let's chat. All right, MacBook Airs will be $2,200 off. iPad 10 inch is gonna be 70 inch. $70 off. I actually bought the latest iPad for my mother-in-law. So there's your KitchenAid mixer, Best Buy. That's what I was saying, $199, cheaper than Macy's by $20. The new GoPro. A friend just uh, sent me a drone video with the new GoPro. It's pretty nice. Am I looking at... It literally looks like... Doesn't it look like Target and Best Buy literally have the same... You can see that? Am I, or did I mix this up? Yeah, they literally have the same, look at this. They literally have the same, man, Amazon's doing them dirty. Look at that, the only thing that's different is the new at Target. And then they just do save the, the money. It's the same deals too, let's just look. 44, let's, what if they got different prices? Nah, they got the same prices. They'd be pissed, right? Same prices. Um, all right, let's, we did Target already, so let's uh, finish Best Buy. That new um, Chromecast streaming device is what I'm talking about, uh, you know. I bet Google will do um, Google Store Black Friday. I wonder if they'll have... Uh, deals. Oh, it's mainly phones. Oh, there you go. YouTube TV. Mm, they're just doing it where you get the bundle it with the, um, but this is what I was telling you about. Like this new one is pretty cool. I haven't seen the Mandalorian yet. I'm getting excited to see it though. But this new uh, Chromecast, I wonder if we'll see some deals on that. Okay, um, I was on Best Buy and this page didn't load. Let me try refreshing it. Okay, page four does not work. Interesting. Okay, well, um, top deals. Where's your ad? Browse the ad. Yeah, there's that there's that switch deal we were looking for either earlier. So you get Mario Kart 8, which is actually pretty good. It's a download. Well, I know some of you like to have a physical thing, but I'd rather have this and I already have other controllers that would be compatible to the Switch. So I just get this deal. If you're gonna get a Switch, go to Best Buy. It's better than Costco. Alright, we saw those deals. We looked at these laptop deals. This is what I'm talking about, a Ryzen 9 in a laptop with 120, this is a sick laptop right here. Only thing that I don't like about this deal is this graphics card ruins it. That's the right amount of space. It's nice, you know, I've heard good things about this Ryzen 9. Intel's getting their, you know, getting handed to $1,000 for, for a Bowflex treadmill. That seems like a really good deal. Amazon. 
I just bought a rowing machine. Review coming soon. <laughs> oh, they're all sold out. They don't even have it. What happens if you just do Google shopping? Oh, it is a thousand. Look at it. Everyone's selling it for a thousand. Dix is selling it for a thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, is it the same one though? Yeah, see like, oh, this is the F63. Yeah, it's different. BTX116. Let's see if they do that. They change the model numbers. So you can't like compare apples to apples. The Dyson V7. My parents have something similar. They really like it. Oh, here's a good monitor. 27 inch 4K, but it's going to be a slow refresh rate. 60 hertz right there. Boom. Five milliseconds. Okay, so let me just finish the Best Buy. Like I said, the Best Buy was just meh. It was fine. Nothing. That's why I said it was garbage. It wasn't anything like, oh my goodness. Um, some people, there's, there are some little select stuff for everyone out there. Okay, so I think I did everything, right? We did Amazon, or we did, we didn't do Amazon because remember, I, you know, it's just a catalog. It's not even that great. We did Best Buy. We did Target. We did Kohl's. We did Macy's. All right, so... What do we got here? Wow, it really went up. Cool. So uh, we have Martha Stewart fake tree that looks awesome. Yeah, I bet it is. Martha Stewart made, you know, she's just like anyone else. She's working with other companies and they contract it out. And sometimes they make good stuff and sometimes it's garbage. Um, wait, Best Buy, yeah, they did. The problem I have with a lot of Black Friday sales today is that there are not many real sales. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. You know, it's nothing that's like amazing. The Purge is about to be a documentary. <laughs> I don't think so. I have faith in humanity. But, um, you know, it's uh, we're living in a crazy time. And uh, I do think that social media and... You know, the availability of information and people. Literally, if I have any, like, let's take a flat earther, okay? If anybody has a problem with me saying that the earth is not flat, you can leave the chat, okay? Um, that it is not flat, that it is round. Um, you know, there's still websites and communities and conventions for people who believe the world is flat to go and, like you know, be justified and be and have their, you know, what they feel is facts, be other people echo those same notions. So I think, you know, because of that, you know, I, yeah, it's crazy. And then because of um, algorithms, like look at your YouTube feed, you know, there's, you know, you're going to gravitate towards certain YouTubers and other, you know, you, you just literally you're fed information all the time that only solidify your own beliefs where back in the day before social media when you read a newspaper or you looked at a textbook or you looked at something else you know it's got things all over the place so at least you had like these differing opinions and nowadays i feel like it's just so easy to fall into this trap so back so anyways long story short we live in a world now where people think they're 100 percent right and that it's their way everyone else is wrong I'm not saying everyone does this, but I'm saying that that's all. I think, you know, you look at, and I'm not a huge fan of Joe Rogan, but I like that he interviews people on the left, on the right, in the middle. And he's just like, listen, you can sit down with anybody and have a good conversation. But in, in the online world, we live in this world where it's so polarized. You're either on that side or this side. You either believe in this or you don't believe in that. And uh, so sorry to get off my little soap box there but uh, i'm not telling you what to think except that the earth is round i will go down to the grade with that one and um yeah you know i think if we were to talk it all out we'd, we'd be in a better we'd be a little happier a little nicer uh rogan just had a good guest from social dilemma to talk about social media yeah i watched it i watched that documentary on netflix and I watched that, and there's that guy who wrote the book on social media. Yeah, it's killing us, for sure. Anyways. 
<laughs> Ant's cape. You had to talk about politics, and now I just got an ad for one. Well, it's literally, you know, both campaigns right now in the U.S. are just spending as much as they can, right, before, right before Election Day. So you're going to see a lot of political ads between now and then. Anyways, uh, I think I heard the new Fitbit is trash. The sensor on the side is overly sensitive and opens up randomly. Yeah, I wouldn't get one, you know. I've heard great things about the Apple Watch. I hate Apple, but as far as a, wa a smart watch, it does everything. I just lost my light. Um, did I do Amazon deals already? The Amazon deals aren't up yet, so... I don't think so, at least. If you go to Amazon, with Amazon, you just go here. Whoa, Amazon, Amazon. Amazon deals. You go to holiday deals. And uh, yeah, there's some. Let's look, we can look, since we're here. Cell phones, no, I don't want cell phones. I want computers. And I want video games. And let me know if you guys want anything else. I went to school with a guy who subscribes to the idea that 9-11 wasn't real. Yeah. Literally. But that's the dangerous thing, too. Is that if you do give people a pedestal... To then, like, I like I just listened to that Kanye West interview on Joe Rogan, and that guy, Kanye, is like, I'm nothing against him. Like he's, but he's a little, you know, I think he has, he's a little mentally unstable, you know, from his the stories that he speaks out and like, even you know maybe he's that's the thing is you don't know if he's joking or if he's being serious, and that's where I was like, is he joking about that or is he serious? Because you know he brought up. Uh, what did he bring up that was like really um oh he brought up like george lucas he was like who's the okay sandus memory card 20 percent off it's not that great who's the um the main producer who's the main character in star wars he's like luke skywalker okay so it's luke skywalker and who is the main um the producer of the star wars franchise the originals he's like george lucas He's like Luke Skywalker, George Luke kiss, Luke, Luke, one kissed his sister, you know, what do you think? <laughs> I was like, I hope that was a joke, but he, you know, there's stuff like that where people are now like down this rabbit hole of, you know, oh, is George Luke, you know, and, and with Luke Skywalker. Um, so anyways, but he also went on Twitter and said the earth was flat a while ago. You know, he's, he's done a lot of stuff like that as far as conspiracy theories. 20% off RAM. RAM prices are going down. So Sandus 64. Yeah, it's, pfft, it sucks. Okay, Lexar's 20% off, 30% off. Pfft. Nah, these deals haven't started yet. RAM, 20% off. Pfft. Probably same deal as a new egg. Unbranded gaming keyboard. Ooh, Rocket. This is a good deal right here. These Rockets. These are made in Germany. They're really good. I think they're made in Germany. I know it's a German brand. Maybe they outsource there. Um, the Doctor. Control F. Made. Oh, they use cheaply made Chinese buttons. This price says they make. Uh, unlike most Logitech and Seal series that use made Chinese buttons that always eventually break, great for small hands, definitely nice and usual with large pen hands. Mmm. German created internationally minded is that like a nice way of saying we made we made the blueprints in germany then we send those blueprints somewhere else interesting i don't know um but they do make good stuff 
Um, anyways, uh, let's just scroll through here really quick. A1 chips, uh, mechanical keyboards, cases, Wi-Fi. Derek, Kanye rambles from point to point. Exactly. You know, and again, I have nothing but respect for the guy. I wish him the best. I hope, you know, oh, he went on a whole rant with, like, pharmaceuticals and doctors and, like, whether or not you should trust them or not. That was, like, a little out there, too. So, yeah, he, it's just a lot of ranting for sure. Um, you know, but it, that, but if somebody asked me, is he brilliant or is he crazy? And to me, he kind of skirts a fine line. Sometimes I think he has hints of brilliance. And other times I'm like, no, that's just, that's just crazy. But, you know, a lot of um, artistic minds think that way. 115 inch screen, 15 inches, it's okay. I mean, if you get one of those for 100 bucks, that's a Black Friday deal. 20% on PMY, yeah. More, the small computer, 116, eh. uh, Western Digital, PNY, 25%. You know, you got to be start seeing 40, 50, 60% to get me excited. I don't know about all you. 15 inch 140, SSDs, backlit, uh, rate rocket. See, they repeat some of the deals. Two terabyte, no. Okay, oh, that deal died. Oh, oh those deals aren't even live yet. Okay, rocket we talked about. Oh. So those, even some of those deals weren't even up yet. Hard drive, Western Digital, Seagate. Seagate gaming drives. Corsair mouse. Okay. Um, okay. 12 terabytes for 189. It's not bad. I, I did put up a 14 terabyte for 180 the other day, though. Two terabytes for 70. Seems like we're getting two terabytes for 59.99 on Black Friday, so I might wait. Uh, mouse, 60. That doesn't seem that great. 25% off? No. Okay. I'm going to end it there. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate it. I had fun, you know, looking at deals. As we get closer to Black Friday, I'm sure I'll do some more videos. Um, you're going to get a mix of content out of me for the next week or two. I just got some items that I said yes to that aren't necessarily retro gaming related, but they're like tinkering and things like that. And, you know, I'm just having fun making videos these days. I'm not worrying about anything else. So, uh, you'll see some very eclectic stuff as you see um, come out. But um, that's all I got today. Hope you enjoyed. Um, again, hope you're adjusting to the time okay and you had a good Halloween and you're staying safe. And this week, I hope we all stay safe. Don't do anything dumb. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And uh, I hopefully you'll attend another one. So with all that, have a great one, everyone. See you later.